ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're at seven of eight players in this queue, and we're hoping it, hoping it pops off soon. And uh, we're doing a Pioneer Cube draft. And we're talking about how I uh, I got my second COVID shot on Saturday. And it laid me out for a bit on Sunday. But I was totally fine. Then again, on, on Monday, I was, I was much better. And uh, we were talking about how, you know, it's worse than than being laid out from COVID on for one from from the vaccine for one day actually getting COVID I like water grave I like torrential gear hulk a lot torrential gear hulk could be a banger especially if we get we can I'm gonna I never I never have torrential gear hulk work so I'm gonna build around it today fear the fear the monkey I appreciate it buddy I am also glad I got it it feels it feels good like there's a relief that you have after getting it where you're like all right we're getting somewhere like if you can feel like actual progress and and you can feel like you actually helped you know get there <coughs> jace unraveler of secrets i mean i i actually think this guy's great it's it's your typical this is like your standard five mana planeswalker where plus one draws a card the minus two or three removes a creature, and then eight is like a, a a win the game kind of emblem. I'm gonna take that. I mean, if disallow or thought sees, I guess we don't even have to be black. Disallow is good too, especially with the torrential gear Hulk. I don't care. Oh, do we just take double gear Hulks? Oh, essence scatter seems great. So does void shatter though. Jeez. Okay, let's take Void Shatter. I don't feel like we have to be black right now. And maybe the Essence Scatter comes back. <clears throat> I do want to I want to take a good number of hits for our Torrential Gear Hulk. And I took the card that's more versatile, so we'll see. Oh, a disdainful stroke and a negate and a prismari command. <clears throat> Again, like I don't feel like a need to commit to a second color right now when we do have very playable cards with our torrential gear hulk. Disdainful stroke's pretty decent, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go with disdain with my disdain. Treasure cruise. Okay. Crackling Drake. I wonder if we're just a Crackling Drake deck. Let's take Crackling Drake and see what happens. A friend of mine who has always been extremely physically active and healthy had COVID last he, last April. He was still having fainting spells in February 2021. So yeah, I, I've heard that a lot. I've heard there's a lot of side effects that we're just now realizing from COVID. And uh, it kind of sucks. Um, I like this, but I'd rather just take the Behold, not be white, and also be able to hit it with Torrential Gear Hulk. So that's what I'm going to take. <laughs> oh, Sulphur Falls. I mean, considering we are trying to be blue-red... That seems decent. <clears throat> and then nothing. And oh, let's think in the ice, actually. Oh, what up, Neon Tokyo? I'm going to say it again, even though I've seen you, but um, missed you, buddy. Oh, I was actually hoping Jace's Ingenuity came back when I first took Torrential because I was like, this is a pretty good card to take. We could also take Young Peasy and be a, a, a pretty decent spells deck here. I'm going to take it. Oh, the Disallow came back? Oh, that's Essence Scatter one time. Whenever you draw your second card, you know what? 
Prismari Command came back. I kind of like Roast a little better, to be honest with you. Hmm. This deck looks kind of sweet so far. This lets us... No, oh, Thunderbreak Regent is actually relatively playable. So is Ashcloud Phoenix. Agent of Treachery? I think Agent of Treachery is actually too good to not take in this in like formats like this. Like it's just such a powerful card. Like there's no way to get your guy back. You can't disenchant it. You can't kill the agent to get it back. Like uh, we're just taking Agent of Treachery here. I like River Glide. <clears throat> I kind of like Aetherling a lot too as a win con, but I don't think we're gonna need win cons. I'm just gonna take the pathway here. I'd rather make sure our lands are on point with uh, like Crackling Drake and things. The interesting thing about Karn is that it does not draw you a card technically, so you're not going to trigger Iron Iron Iron, Iron Crag. So <clears throat> that's worth noting. I literally had no idea what this was. Oh, this was just a white land because they have not fixed this yet, which is kind of sad, but what are you going to do? Um, I think it's still Karn. I think Karn is still good enough. <clears throat> I also don't love like Thassa's intervention because you can't hit it with Torrential Gear Hulk. Hmm, I think it's just Anticipate again. Not a card that draws you a card, so kind of rough. <clears throat> Could take <clears throat> Tempted by the Oric. Could just take Sp uh, Sprite Dragon as well. I'll take Sprite Dragon. We'll see what happens. I actually love Alrun's Epiphany. I want to be taking some turns, so we're going to take that guy. I'd much rather be like, see, I'm trying to be like a more a blue-red control deck rather than a blue-red tempo deck where Sprite Dragon and and like because I also don't feel like we're going to have a ton of cards in our graveyard. To like trigger to like oh, we're not gonna play like a bunch of one mana cantrips. So I do like pull from tomorrow a lot. Again, though, it's not a card we can hit with Torrential Gear Hulk, but it is just a nice draw spell. It also triggers Young Pyromancer, Iron Clog Pyromancer, 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 and Thing in the Ice. Yeah, I'll take this. We're trying to be controlling. Oh, I like a braid a lot. Oh, wait, Frost Boil Snarl. Let's take that one, actually. I'd rather have my mana good. <clears throat> I actually like this Chandra a lot. Like, just being able to plus deal two and have her go up to six is pretty sweet. I'm going to take this Chandra. This deck looks fun so far. These have a lot of like cards that I really enjoy, like Alrun's Epiphany, Agent of Treachery, these two Planeswalkers. I think we could take one of these two out. Probably Thunderbreak. I think Ashcloud Phoenix is a little more a little more resilient. <laughs> Scorching Dragonfire could just be fine. Like we don't have a ton of like just removal. Yeah, this is card draw, sure. 
It also triggers our Pyromancer. I'm going to take Vizier. I'm tempted to find <clears throat> none of these cards are good for us. I'm going to take Robert. I mean, this deck looks pretty good already. I, this feels like a, a thing in the ice deck for sure. That's going to let it flip. I mean, the cards that we can actually cast with Torrential Gilk so far are Behold, Disallow, Void Shatter, Scorching Dragon Fire, or Disdainful Stroke. Five hits, which feels fine. Especially when three of them are counter spells. Hit him with that lava spit. <laughs> I don't know what that even means. You sound like a crazy person. <laughs> this is an island and a mountain. Hmm. And then we have a disallow, which we already have like, or a dissolve rather, which is like very similar to the two counter spells we already have. I think it's just Triumph. I don't think any of these cards are super great for us, but again, I would rather have good mana. And having like a fourth dual land here is pretty nice. Gadwick is sweet. So is Stormwing Entity. So is Goldspan Dragon, actually. I don't think this is a card we really want. We like, we just don't have many. We don't. There's not many one mana can trips in our deck. I think Dragon is probably the best. I, I would take Gadwick if we didn't have Pull from Tomorrow to just dump a bunch of mana into. But I'd I think Dragon is a really good win con win condition. So look, there's a there's an opt. Mm, this one's all right. I actually think it's opt here. It just triggers so many of our things from Pyromancer to Young Peasy to Thing in the Ice. It's another it's another random hit for Torrential Gear Hulk. Um, I think it's actually Maze Mind Tome here. That seems pretty sweet. Also, Dissipate, a fourth three-mana counter spell. I think, I mean, like, if it's anything like pack one where Disallow tabled, I, I feel like one of these might come back. But Maze Mind Tome is a banger. I'm taking Sprite Dragon out. I don't really care about it. Are you familiar with the concept of a modular cube? I don't th think so. Oh, man, I wish I had the fixing for it. Dang it. I would be very tempted. What is Yorion Blink? Crackling Drake to draw a card. Which could then trigger Pyromancer if we hadn't drawn one yet. Blink Gear Hulk hits something else. Blink Agent. I think Yorion could be good. Thank it's you. probably better than just random into the Royal, right? Oh, what up, Jimmy the Mole? <clears throat> Jimmy, we still have to play your deck. I haven't forgotten my book just has been uh, a little hectic. Oh, Steam Vents? When our deck is almost complete? Yeah, I'll take a Steam Vents. Oh, part the Water Veil. I feel like taking extra turns in this format is really good. Yeah. I mean, Mass Manipulation also fantastic, but uh, I'll take Commit to Memory. Commit to Memory is actually a banger with the... Uh... Yep, there's the Dissolve. Let's take Midnight Clock. I like the ramp, and I also like the um, the ability on it. And the Dissipate's probably coming back, right? Because why wouldn't it? Gadwick came back. So literally everything is coming back right now. That's, that's very interesting. Like, this is almost a mono blue deck, to be quite honest. We can put Vizier and Tempted, take out the Ash Cloud and Crackling Drake. Like, it's kind of funny. Inscription, that's pretty good too. Jeez. 
Um, I'll take rampaging. Whatever, we're gonna have a ton of creatures. Maybe that's fine. Str Royal eruption is fine. Wild slash is fine. The dissipate did not come back. Thank you. Zimini pot, welcome back. Thank you for the resub, guys. Really appreciate it. I'm down a ton of subs for the last few days that I haven't streamed. So if you guys want to support the channel, <laughs> definitely. Feel free to do so. I am uh, not going to complain. All right, so this would be four. Ideally, in a perfect world, you'd be eight. I don't think we need both of these. And I do think Gadwick is a little stronger. Thank you. Do we get charter course? No. Okay. Oh, Jimmy with the gifted subs. My God. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, dude. Thank you. You are wonderful. Um, I don't want to cut double red cards because our mana base is fine. Like we just don't need to. And also I, I think these are two strong cards. Like we have one, two, three, four, five, five fixing lands. Like our mana is just very, very good. I could see cutting Crackling Drake. Actually, maybe not. Like Goldspan Dragon, yeah, Goldspan Dragon's just great. And I also do really like this Chandra. Just being able to deal two to anything for plus one is just very good. Um, I think all of these are necessary. I I could see cutting Yorion. I don't really care about of one mind. I think the odds of us playing this for one mana is significantly low. I think we have like three humans. Human, human, and human. And I guess a seven mana human as well. So. I don't really care about Ash Cloud Phoenix, to be honest. I think Crackling Drake is good. It kind of goes well with our deck. I think one more cut, maybe. It might just be Commit to Memory, even though we do have Torrential Gear Hulk. It could also be Opt. Or we could just play 41, and I don't really have a problem with that. I think this deck looks really good. Real. So there's just three. Okay, hold on. Let's get let's get you, you, and you out of here. Your duels. Okay. So this is eight. This is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight to thirteen. Not sure we want to go that crazy. So five, six, twelve, twelve to nine. I think twelve nine seems significantly better, and we get one more land anyway. So that's cool. Am I looking for the new place? Yeah, a lot. We like it a lot. It's very nice. Nine red sources. That seems like plenty, right? Or do we want to go ten? I like ten, but I don't like four. I don't like five mountains when we have like so many double blues. But then again, we do have, you know, 5, 10, 12, 12 blue sources. I'm going to just add another island anyway. I can't do this. I can't. Why did they take this out? I can't double click anymore. That's so weird, dude. Are you enjoying Pioneer Cube? I'm really intrigued. You want to do a few drafts? Sally Marks? Yeah, I don't. I, I wish they put I wish they put spotlight cubes up for two weeks instead of one week. Um, I've I've had a good time. I think it's pretty fun. I've only done two drafts in this one, but, I, you know, the cards are. What's the word I'm looking for? Interactive enough that like it, you don't feel like you're being completely blown out. But um, they're not like super powerful either. So it's like you you have a nice it's a it's a nice mid rangey power level. I gotta play. Sometimes I still forget.
<clears throat> Snap keep. So the question now is young pyromancer or thing in the ice first turn. Ooh. I think it might be thing in the ice. The reason is they can probably kill PZ pretty easily. There's a bunch of things that can kill PZ, but if they kill thing in the ice, let's well, thing in the ice and see what happens. Oh, what up badger? Good seeing you, buddy. Okay. They can kill thing in the ice quite well as well. Quite well as well. So nothing was going to survive there. Um, so <clears throat> I think I just want to keep up Counterspell because next turn we can actually go Clock into PZ. And we can take a couple hits from this guy. I don't really care about that. So long, little goat. Little goat, little goat. It's not your fault, little goat, little goat. Yep, that's what you want to... That's the thing you want to counter, my dudes. And we're going to play this as a river glide pathway. Oh, well, boy, they just got all the removal for all the things. But I feel like this is okay. Thank you. If they don't play anything else, we're just doing great. Oh yeah, we're doing, we're living the dream here. Especially if we draw another land, we can just slam a Gadwick for three. Oh, Badger with the gifted sub. <laughs> They've gifted 1,056 subs in this channel. <laughs> Badger, I love you, buddy. Let's refill. And even if they kill this, like, that's fine. They have one card in hand. Yeah, this that was good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So well, seven mana. Unfortunately, everything costs four right now, so we cannot play two of anything. Hopefully, we'll draw something that costs three or less. Perfectly normal. Yeah, it's you're you're actually one of the one of the one of several people who've gifted that many subs. Obviously, everybody knows that. Oh God, what is this? Five mana. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, that's totally fine. Hmm. Come on, three mana counter spell. Not we're not as good at this game as we'd like to be. We do get to inscription next turn, bounce both of these perhaps. Make a thing. I mean, we could just keep up commit to memory, to be honest. I mean, that actually sounds okay. What do we take? Four, five, six, seven, though? Yeah, I'm going to play this guy. Come on. Okay. <laughs> All righty, then. Um, could go block your chump here if we just don't want to take anything. And if they kill something, it's probably best.
thank you. The kitchen goblin, thank you for the gifted sub badge. You're really appreciated. <laughs> it's funny because like when when you even when you gift a sub, like the name of the person it was gifted to shows up on the screen and like in the notification. So it's like, oh wow, that's great. But then uh they can't even activate task here. They're just mono black. Oh, that's interesting. For some reason I was like afraid of them activating. Why are they this is really are they missing a color? I'm tempted to not use this because they might think I have counter spell, so I'm actually gonna not risk it. Maybe that's silly. I can take their Tassiger and then also activate it. So that's that's pretty good. Maybe we do that. Or we just force them to replay both slowly. Yeah, let's do that. Target player, I will choose myself. I like that one of them says return to hand, but the other does not. That's nice. I hope they, I hope both are being targeted because that would be really weird if it if they weren't okay good um scry to pyromancer seems good here oh they're gonna kill something Okay. I don't think they have anything with haste, so. So I haven't been able to catch you live, but last time I was just on that job. Uh, nothing yet, but nothing has been. I'm still like, uh, I got, so I got an email from Riot Games today, and they said, um, we'd love to move forward in the process, which always starts with a design exercise. So I'm going to have to do a, a game design test with them, which is great. And I'm um, still waiting on a couple other things. So, I don't know. Hoping for something more secure. My husband asked if I could clear the kitchen table. I had to get a running start, but I made it. Wow, that's that's actually really impressive. Okay, another to Seagray. This game's going to be over once I steal this, right? Funny thing is, I didn't even want to tap it. <sighs> neighbor rang on my doorbell at 3 a.m. My neighbor rang on my doorbell at 3 a.m. Can you believe it? Luckily, I was still up playing the drums. <laughs> oh. <coughs> There's a little bit of a redundancy in that one. And I think that's going to be the end of the game. Are they just mono black with Tassiger? Tassiger is not very good. Tassiger is worse than Gurmag Angler. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Oh, here's some lucky bucks. Pal. Unforgiven. Thank you, buddy. Seven lucky bucks. I'm going to get an email tonight that's going to be like, sorry, you didn't get a job. Does the number seven mean anything to you? And I'm going to be like, yes. And they're going to be like, that's why. And I'm going to be like, oh, no. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. I'm reading a horror novel in Braille. Sometimes something bad is going to happen. I can feel it. I don't, I don't, want, the, I don't want these moments anymore. Babe. Yeah, babe. Was it good, babe? Do we just win here? 
Yeah, let's just win here. Tuck this guy. Tap your godel. Oh, does he want to go out? He's doing big snoozy. You got to come get him. I'm just doing big snooze. Okay, so interesting. <laughs> this mana value three or less, so not Tassiger. Um, Royal Eruption Wild Slash kills their Woast Rider. Kicking this for seven does kill their. Oh, fact of the day. After the dinosaur killing meteorite struck Earth 65 million years ago, it rained glass in North America. Oh, from the hot sand? That sounds amazing. Really scary. Um, second fact in 1954, the FBI investigated Robert Dorr for requesting aircraft images from multiple U.S. aerospace companies. Dorr was not, as they'd feared, a spy, but a teenage boy who really liked planes. <laughs> who is this guy? Well, I'm just a little kid. I think we're just going to submit like this. Moscow's Metro Dogs are strays that have memorized metro routes and and alight at specific stops in search of food. Guide dogs poop on command. Oh my god. Wish I could poop on command. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I gotta poop, and then I go to the bathroom and I'm like, oh, I missed my window. And it's, it's over at that point. A light means to get off or exit. Oh, wow. I've never, I've actually haven't heard that term. Let's go thing in the ice again. I think, I think pyromancer sticking around better is, is longer is better. We got two spells here that could kick this guy off. So, oh, they haven't done anything. Well, I'm just going to pass here. I have a counter spell. Tomorrow for you folks, in 1494, on second voyage to the New World, Christopher Columbus sights Jamaica, landing at Discovery Bay. Um, this is fine because I can kill it on the spot. I can also try to bounce it. I don't think we need the card right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the opt until we get like a. Uh, it's like now I want to hit a land, so. But I'm also keeping a void shatter, so that's what we do. Oh, that's a dude. Not a dude that's gonna survive, but a dude nonetheless. We could also try to hit a land, bounced it with Jace, but we can do that with anything, really. I'm going to bottom this guy. We don't have a second, a fifth land. Oh, now we do. I'm going to keep that on top, actually. Six lands is great for part the water mail. We can part, make this guy a thing, sack for, make this guy a literal thing. Attack for seven. Take our next turn. Attack for seven. That seems like a winning plan. They have four cards. What could they be? Well, not anymore. I like that. I will bottom that. Now we have plenty of lands. Two, three, four. Oh, let's actually play Midnight Clock first. And then we'll play Drake.
Yeah, that seems good. Oh, also Pyromancer with Jace. Oh, boy, this game's... Well, I'm not going to say it's over, but I will say it's looking good for us. We can also bounce our own creature. Bounce our own Drake to draw a card. I mean, that's just worse than drawing a card, I, I assume. <laughs> Negative two to draw a card instead of plus one, plus four, and it's four more mana. Tomorrow in 1818, Karl Marx, German philosopher, uh, was born in Trier, Prussia. Happy birthday, Karl Marx. When's the next Legacy or Vintage Cube? I don't know. What up, Dan's? Good seeing you, buddy. And there you go. <laughs> Those are your facts, and you're in today. Uh, are they going to attack with this Rankle? I would be fascinated if they attacked with, with old Ranky Boy. But if they don't, we just get to play Pyromancer, or draw a card with Jace, and then kill their Rankle? I don't understand. I think we're doing well. Well, this is, yeah, okay. I mean, sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Were they hoping I wouldn't block or? Well, I don't know what just happened there. I was like, oh, dang it, they got me. Move this over here. And we're going to go to profiles. I got, I added this to the soundboard. Uh, now, now, eventually you do plan to have dinosaurs on your, on your dinosaur core, right? Hello? Figured that'd be a good one. Oh my god, Badger, it's still it's still on my list. I'm still definitely getting one. I just haven't done it yet. I haven't found one I really, really like. That's really what it comes down to, because there's a ton of shitty ones, and I just want to make sure if I'm getting one, I'm going to get a good one. And uh, obviously they're not, like, <laughs> super prevalent. Uh, I don't really want to kill this. I'll just play this and reel an island. Oh, I see. Well, things are happening here. So we're probably going to bring in a bunch of our small removal spells. Um, I helped Jeff Goldman get through LAX when I worked at Japan Airlines. That sounds amazing, actually. Yeah, if you're buying a computer, probably don't even buy one from Best Buy. Just go to like PCPartPicker.com and uh, build it yourself. I know it's not super easy, but it's definitely it's definitely worthwhile. Okay, this is a lot of things. This is a lot of weenuses. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to roast to the three ones so we don't have to deal with that guy anymore. Just hoping to try to not die. Yeah, I mean, like, oh boy. Yep, that's pretty good. So we block here. We take two, four, six. We go to one. What could go wrong? I don't think we actually have a board wipe. <laughs> oh good well that'll do pig that'll do <laughs> wow all right so let's bring in wild slash royal eruption hmm 
let's retweak everything. We'll take out the the turn taken cards. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'll actually take out one of these. Disallow seems better. Uh, disdainful stroke seems bad. More like board wipe. I think you are right, actually. We'll bring in that guy. Tempted could be fine as well. Just steal one of their bros. Probably better than... Uh, Karn makes guys. Uh... I think a maze mind to him might be too slow. I'd rather have another two two than uh than a random opt. Everything else seems fine. Okay, we'll try it like this. Um, yeah, we can keep this. We got a thing followed by a midnight clock, followed by a bunch of other nonsense. We're going to keep this in hand because if we draw the snarl, I'd rather have a basic to play. Okay. Hmm. Well, that is unfortunate. This is a sorcery as well, so we basically do nothing this turn. Not ideal. Figured they would have had something to play here. Okay, not bad. Oh, so I want to steal that guy eventually. Let's play. Oh, let's play. Let's play Midnight Clock instead. Because now we can definitely tempted by the Auric that guy. I'm sick and tired of quarantine. <laughs> Brother, I feel like you're not in quarantine. How is Australia doing in that regard? Yeah, I didn't think so. You're like, man, we're fine. <laughs> totally normal now. Oh, may the fourth be with you, King Eater. Oh, Monastery Mentor. Maybe I want that instead. Ooh, this is... Ooh. Ooh. A land would have been nice. But, uh, you know. Now and then things gonna go crazy. We'll have an outbreak of two to three people. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I like the four butt on Brimaz better here. I think. Oh god! Don't manatize me. I don't even know if manatize is in Pioneer. I like the vigilance and the fact that Brimaz always makes a creature if you want. Sure. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk my brims. Oof. It's all making sense now. This is very good. Land? Okay, I like it. I like it. None of these guys have reach though, boys. I think it's actually... Oh, we got to draw a card for this. 
So what I think we're doing. Thank I think you. we go Iron Crag just to get that going. And then we go Royal Eruption on the Mentor. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Dan's with the resub. Love you, lady. Really appreciate it. Um, 26 months. That's over two years, Dan's. Oh, my God. The friendship is so long. I could just, like, I could wild slash this guy, which is probably better. But next turn, I kind of want to trigger this with Jace and still have wild slash. Yeah, let's do that. They could just double block Burmaz here, and that doesn't seem great for us. So I'm just going to pass. Dan's, how you feel about that Doge? Okay, okay. Well, we could definitely wild slash and then draw two, shoot something, bounce everything, attack for seven. Boy. No, well, I guess no blocks. Hmm. So the problem is they get Brimaz back if we do that. <laughs> if we if we thing in the ice everything, and next turn they can just play replay Brimaz. But I guess we can then go like. Both of these are going to trigger when I play Inscription, right? No, one triggers on Resolution. Return to two creatures to their owner's hands. We can bounce the bird and, like, this guy? Is that good? I don't know if that's good. We could just bounce both of these as well. I don't know. We have a lot of decisions, actually. I mean, I actually have no incentive not to attack here, so might as well deal with three. Okay, so if we bounce this now, we can actually, we can bounce both of these. I don't know if that's good. I don't know what's good anymore. Um, let's return up to two creatures, this and this. One, two, three, four. And then we actually can keep up Wild Slash in order to trigger at the... And now they just have the one stupid bird, so... Yeah, I actually like Kill Angel Bounce everything. That was actually pretty good too. I think we just had so many options that it was really hard to like figure out the best one. So now we know their hand is like just Angel, I guess. 
That's all we know. I'm probably okay with taking three here and then just slamming thing in the ice. I guess we'll take four here instead. So actually I might do it now because I don't know what they have. Like they played a land. And if they play anything, we can just bounce it with Jace. Hunter, stop. Oh, they didn't play anything. Wow. Mm, I like that. So, I mean, if they want to attack with Mutavault, then they have they can still play the... Um... This is an instant? Yeah, so we can actually... If they try to activate Mutavault to, to get the... Um to get the value off of of wingmate rock we can just kill it in response oh big big brims huh okay the biggest of brims Yep, that is fine. Okay. Well, I don't hate that. And we're real close to this. On our turn, it's going to trigger, so we only get like one card down here. I think it's better to have the Jace down. Like, Jace is a recurring form of... One, two, three, four, five... Oh, God. Oh, God. I hit the wrong one. <laughs> oh, dear. Do we play land this turn? No. Yeah, I want to I want to maximize the mana because we're going to draw seven cards next turn. So I want to make sure we're hitting our land drops here. <laughs> this is great for us actually because like we're gonna just refill our hand so not only do we get this free card from exile uh sure uh you're going face you're going jace if you go jace with this guy that's fine i'll just take 
Jace will go to two, and then I'll block the cat soldier. I'm definitely not going to get rid of Iron Crag Pyromancer when I have an active Jace on the board. Okay, this is going to uh, add, add a blue mana. Is there anything we want to do here? Kill this thing. I think we're just wasting our blue. Actually, let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have eight. So we can actually just tuck the brim as. Two, three, four. Yeah, let's not waste it. Oh, I like that. Um, I'll keep that. That could be good. Uh, we have eight, eight, eight cards. Do you have to play a land here? Castle of Antra seems fine. Now the question is, do we keep up Disallow or do we just play a guy? Probably just keep up Disallow. Which allow? This one. Uh, we're going to block because that's good. It's a good strategy. Yeah, if this is Wingmate Rock, we're just insta snap countering. This game two. Yeah, that's pretty much the end, right? Like we get to play Chandra, draw a card with Jace, kill them. Sure. Gaudy. All right. That was reasonable. Disdainful Stroke actually might be good. We saw a couple cards that, that it does hit, so let's bring that back in. Uh, snap keep. So whatever they play on turn two, we can roast. Oh, good. Turn one play, though. That's what we're looking for here. Oh, what up, Music Manly? This is a good curve, though. And we can start making making constructs as well, which is okay. <coughs> okay, we'll probably kill that guy, right? No, that actually, this guy seems better in the long run, right? Like, I don't really care about a hexproof from black guy, but this guy makes, this guy can make a free creature next turn, so. Why let that live?
And if they're not gonna, if they don't, if they're not gonna put more pressure on the board, I'm just gonna play the creature that uh, that benefits me. Oh no, valorous stance. Fascinating. <laughs> okay, okay. Should have actually played Midnight Clock, I think. Because then we can actually, like, they wouldn't have this, and then we'd still have this, and we could probably trigger it. Um, Chandra seems pretty bang in here. Ooh, Inscription or an Island. I mean, Chandra just starts killing both of their creatures and plussing to six while she does it. So, okay. I mean, we're going to take four here, or Karn's going to take four. Or they just kill Karn. That seems fine. That's worse. I forgot they were counters. I'm probably going to lose because of that. Yeah, that's brutal. Wow. The one card that they could have had that actually changes the entire game. That's that's terrible for us. Wow. We could have went Midnight Clock, kept up Disallow. Yeah, that would have been significantly better. Like, I still don't know if we have a way to deal with these guys, but I'm sure we could have found something, and that's pretty bad. <sighs> My God, how good Chandra would have been before Unbreakable Formation. Yep, just keep eating my six loyalty planeswalkers, I guess. Yep, that's pretty good. Can't beat two two twos when they don't have a fourth land, I guess. <sighs> eh. Now they play a two two and a one one. Okay. Indestructible prevents. Doesn't that prevent damage though? No, I guess it doesn't prevent it. It just means he can't be killed from it. Could have actually disallowed that, but I think we've actually lost this game, to be quite honest. That was like the best unbreakable formation that's ever been played in Magic the Gathering history, so. What can you do? Yep. And we're dead on board. They actually don't need to play anything else. But they will anyway. I I can't think of anything we can draw. We don't actually have any any sweepers, so even if we get one blocker, we still take six. So cool unbreakable formation, I guess. Yep. Awesome. One, two, three, four. Yep, doesn't do anything. All right, that was fun. That was a fun third match that I thought I had a great shot in because they got stuck on lands, but apparently I just cannot deal with uh, two three threes in my in my deck.
Yep, mulligan. Let's get rid of seven drop here. Unfortunately, Torrential Girl also can't hit inscriptions because they're all sorceries. How about that weather, though? It's pretty nice. It was not nice this weekend when we wanted to do moving things and it ended up raining all weekend, but... Sure. If you want to take opt, that's fine. I'm not really super. I mean, like if if we end up opting into a better card, they're just gonna take that anyway. So. Okay. Sure. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It doesn't seem that exciting. Yes, there's a definite problem with the weather not being able to make up its mind. I agree with you. We've played all the cards they haven't seen, so they know our exact hand, unfortunately. Yep, kill this guy, I'm sure. Yep, sounds good. But next turn, we get to play Crackling Drake or Inscription for something. I, I never want to play Inscription on four, though, so. Uh, play as a blue... You're welcome to kill this guy if, if you want. That's a, that's what's known as a two for one. Oh God, what is this? Sure. Sounds good. I want to hit lands here. And we did. We are going to have to discard something. Probably Behold the Multiverse. We're just going to get it back with the Torrential Gear Hulk. The upside on inside is higher, and Goldspan Dragon is just kind of a beater. I mean, they do get back Crackling Drake, but we can also bounce it, which is kind of good. Sure. <laughs> it's a very interesting choice. Oh, that's actually awesome because the uh, the treasure we get allows us to activate Disdainful Stroke. Man, Elder Reborn was like the first iteration of Elspeth Conquers Death. Oh, nothing, huh? All right. Four cards to three cards. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Hmm. Man, I love a gold span dragon. We just get the eater on guy here. All right, cool. Um, one, two, three. Let's play Pyromancer here. <sighs> yeah, I don't care about that. <sighs> hey, babe. Hi. Yeah, you got to break out a little chair. Oh, you got to move stuff, too. I was ready. To, I was going to try to box that up. Okay, well, in my face, I guess. Yeah. Okay. She's big mad. She's so mad and sad. Are you sad too? No. I joined then right away. Hey, babe. 
<laughs> it was almost a sweet cakes. What's up, little Brett? Sorry, it's so messy. We live in filth and squalor. I don't want to say all that. We don't live in squalor. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Ooh. 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 I packed everything downstairs except for Daddy for Fett. Big Daddy Fett. It's pretty impressive, babe. Good job. Yep, it's all done. Get that girl a cheeseburger. I think I counter my dis Ooh, gross. I should have used regular mana. If I use regular mana, like I, I still have it next turn. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Uh, yes, of course, Michael is coming with us when I move. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. See, now I don't have a land and I can't play this. Oh, God, I'm so stupid. Babe, I'm so stupid. You had a momentary lapse in judgment. That doesn't define who you are. Well, it feels like it. Well, they can only get things back from their graveyard, which right now is nothing. Will I be in this chair for a while? I don't even know what's going on right now. Uh, no, we're going to get food after this round. We're having family dinner time with our son. I'll keep one of these. And then, of course, the other one is also a land. All right. Well. Could have played Thing in the Ice there, I guess. I feel hairy and dirty. That's because we live in filth and squall. <laughs> That's the filth and squall you're feeling. Can somebody block that? Person? Oh, God. You're not needed here. Yikes. Now, yeah, Melissa and I have not been together for about six years, so <laughs> kind of late to that party. Uh, Landy. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We also miss those days. Our lives have been spiraling out of control the last few months <laughs> for many different reasons. What's, but what are you saying? What did you miss the good old days with us all oh. drafting together? Yeah, it's a lot of it's schedule related too. Yeah, but stop saying but. You're a but. That's fair. I'm off the whole month of June and half of July. That means that Franklin won't be able to get rid of me. I'll always be there. Lurking. That's all I ever wanted, babe. Let's behold the multiverse. Okay, we're still doing all right because they have one card. Cast a card. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, I'll keep two Planeswalkers. Sure, why not? And then I'll shoot your face. Well, it's not nice, dear. Well, magic's a violent game, babe. I think we're going to get Magianos and get a bunch of different dishes and share them amongst Hello. ourselves. One, two, three. <laughs> She's very excited about that. I love pasta. And all carbs. Shut up and take my money! Oh, Music Manly, one live-in squalor buck. Hell yeah. That's really all you need in life, really. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five... Or we can Karn. Now we're just going to play Chandra here. The other day I told Frank, I was like, maybe I'll fire up my stream and play some like indie underground games. And he just looked at me and he was like, sure you will, babe. I believe it. <laughs> oh, no, we're not going out. It's coming to us. Yeah, no, we we we, we do a uh, pickup and delivery here in this household. We're a pickup and delivery family. Michael hasn't gotten his second vaccine yet, and Frank just got his, and he's not two weeks out, so. Yeah. Maybe I should take my once-a-month prime sub to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Brett. It okay. all kind of goes in the, the same pocket. Okay, buddy. Listen. Oh, a Tefri, huh? That's pretty good. Will you tuck my gear hook so I can draw it again? 
Oh, yeah, do that. No, you're just drawing a card, huh? Okie dokie. Congrats on your first one. That's exciting. Yeah, my arm was definitely sore afterwards, but I was like, you know what? It's okay. After the second one, though, I was like a basically just jelly. Okay, this card's kind of obnoxious, and we kind of need an answer for it, I guess. That's not, that's surprisingly not the answer. Discard your hand, exile the top three until the end of your turn, and we play those. Yeah, we can only afford two pockets between us. Do we just get to kill Tepper here? That seems good. All right. You can do whatever you want, dear. Wow, that's... <laughs> I didn't even know. Um, uh, so one, two, three, four. <laughs> Play Karn. Plus this. They have there. nothing on board. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, and they have nothing in hand. Interesting. Oh, wow. Well, that's can I? Oh, no, I just got to pay the seven for it, I guess. I guess we'll just play a Jace here. All of our bearded and non bearded babies are in this room. You don't have anything left. He's going to tap his land like he does. He really is. Shut uh, up and bottom. take my money. Shoot your face. Oh, part of the water bell should do it next turn. Unforgiven, you're freaking amazing, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Please. We'll make an OO. Thank you. Okay, so now they do get to, to draw seven, which is not great for Maybe us. Maybe I can have my own pocket. You'll never, you'll never, you'll <laughs> ever get a pocket in this family. <laughs> It's okay, I don't have pockets anyway, so. Well, that's why you would get one. I'm used to living without them. That, mm. You big guy. Okay, well, that's rude. You're being hurtful. I am? I know. I was talking to Michael in the chat. Unforgiven, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Oh, Michael's never leaving work. Guess we'll never have dinner. Shut up and take my money. What was that? Oh, music manly one pocket buck. Put that right in your pocket buck. See, that's funny because it sounds like. Is that a song from something? What is that from? My brain. It sounds like it's from. That feels like like an Adventure Time song or something. Maybe it is. Maybe I stole it. I could see that. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Maybe it's mainly. Um. Oh my God! When did they draw six cards? I. When this hits twelve counters, you shuffle your hand and your graveyard in your library, and then draw seven. Mm -hmm. And every every upkeep, yours and your opponent's, it gets one. So. You can tell I was uh, asleep at the wheel. Paying some great attention. Okay, let's cancel this. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Cast on this gentleman. Let's see if you want to counter this. Of course you do. Of course Shot you do. coming. You don't have that. So they can still play their brazen borrower, but they're going to take like a bajillion. Actually, we just plus this, right? Why would we bounce that when we plus it and Iron Crag Pyromancer kills? Oh, yeah. Put that on top for sure. Kill this guy. I still think we're doing fine here, but we'll see. What format is this? This is called, this is the Pioneer Cube. What is this you're doing? Avison. Hmm. Okie dokie. Mm-hmm. They're doing very well for themselves. Well, no point in attacking, I guess. <sighs> oh, boy. Well, this is basically Sinx's revelation. Standard beat, would you be referring to Laffy Taffy? 
Which one is the newer format? Is it Pioneer or Frontier? <laughs> There's only one. Those are the same format. I don't really know what either of them is. Frontier is supposed to be the new modern, but then like failed horribly or something. No, Frontier was what they called Pioneer, and then it became Pioneer, right? Why? Why change it? Because Frontier was like the the unofficial name from like the fans. No, they're different. Are you serious? I was like fairly certain that they weren't the same thing, but I'm who can keep up I'm with very, any I'm part of quite magic confused right now? <laughs> Bye, Unforgiven. Thanks for dinner tonight. Unforgiven. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate your support, my dude. I bet Google can tell me. So you only have four mana. Shake the laffy taffy. The laffy taffy. Oh, shake the laffy taffy. Oh boy. All right, read it. It says Frontier died. And then Pioneer came out. Really okay, but my okay, my point is Frontier the was the format that Pioneer was based off of. Um no, I don't like that. Mm. Uh, tap your what is this? Wait, why is wait, what? Oh, tap a non-land permanent. Oh, okay. Tap your big tefs, bro. Big tap. Big tefs. Why isn't he dead yet? I don't know, babe. I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. Gosh. I'm sorry. And I, it might not be a he. We should say they. I, I try to say they regularly. I wasn't doing a good job. That's okay. It happens. It takes some it takes some work. Okay, so we know they have Avacyn. And we know they're drawing um ultimate price so that's cool i'm over here just trying to shake my laffy taffy me too you got it no, i don't care about all these cards me too <laughs> you and me both you know we're gonna make alexa play that for us once we're done nope right? I couldn't tell if she heard me or not. You know we're going to make a long time play that. Alexa, play Laffy Daffy. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, that was such a good draw. Oh, boy. That's how we won the game right there. You're so excited. Well, we won the game, so that's exciting. Actually, I don't even think Avison does it here. They're not at zero anymore. So I don't think we've won yet. You mean yet? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, anymore. <laughs> they were at one point? Placid laughter. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Yeah, what do you just have? Just it. Oh, I couldn't even read it. Oh, it's in the chat. What do you hate more? Losing your first match of a draft or winning the first two and losing the last? Uh, I hate losing the last more because I feel like I'm already on a streak and like all I need is this one more to do it. Whereas like if I lose the first... You know, I didn't have anything like it's like losing the first round of a of a PTQ or like losing your winning in. You know what I mean? Like I'd obviously rather rather lose the first round because then like Then you're in the loser bracket. As as the day goes on and you keep winning, like your your excitement builds. Whereas like if you start off early and you just lose your first round, you're like, okay, well I'm the complete opposite. Really? You'd rather lose your last round than your first round? No, you said you said for drafts you'd rather lose the the you'd rather lose the first round. I'd rather lose the first round. If I'm going to lose if I'm going to lose the first round or the last round, I'd rather have my my disappointment mm -hmm. be front loaded so I'm like it's already out of the way. And something that's 
not constructed, like limited, sealed, or draft, I'd rather lose the last round. And in something constructed, I'd rather lose the first round. Hmm. Hi, Dan's. Because when I lose the last round in a constructed, like I know my deck was actually probably pretty good and oh, deserved wow. to make it that far. She deserved to make it that far. Or like in a sealed PTQ, like. I hate sealed. If you, well, everybody does. <laughs> it's such a bad <laughs> front loaded design. Yeah, like I'd rather have I'd rather have it built in at the front. Whereas like because with each win you have throughout the day, like the weight of that loss gets higher. You know what I mean? But I do hate when you lose the first round of a constructed PTQ and then you're like in the final round playing for your winning in and you're like, if only I hadn't lost that stupid first round. But in a much different this situation. situation presupposes that you're going to win that third round or that last round because you did lose your first round, right? No. So you're what the, the situation does. <laughs> yes, because you've already put that like we're talking about your loss. Where do you want your loss placed? If you place it at the front, then you're going to well, win you, that and last you, round. And you know that. Oh, OK. Well, I guess if you know that you're going to win, that would be my assumption anyway. I was gonna play Crackling Drake, but I think well, we're just gonna really slam care. a car. And I guess I guess I'd rather lose the last round can't because it, so. then my seat placement would be higher. <laughs> if we just get a pick where the where the one loss where the is loss gonna is go, gonna go. <laughs> strategically, that's the best. <laughs> oh wow! What a jerk. Oh my god, what game was that? I feel like that took my whole lifetime. <laughs> Maybe it did, babe. Was that game one or game two? I don't actually know. I, oh god, we're lost. I don't actually know how to tell. Was that game one or game two? I think it was game one. I have to close out of my rock tunnel. <coughs> how to for Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. How to for? Yeah. Do you want to get the new one? Do you want to get the Snap Pokemon one? I don't know. Somebody in chat tell me about it and tell me if it's worth it. If everyone like, I've seen good things about it. Well, yeah, but you just take pictures of them? Like, is there more plot to it than that? I don't really understand it. I don't think that's it, right? This does not seem like a good deal, especially on their Apple Live. Which Karn? This this Karn? Is that how it goes? This Karn? That's how you say it? Um Discard? I guess I should have played this. And then attacked for one and then attacked for two more. But... What is that strange magic backing? Oh, this is a foretell is. card. Mm. You pay the foretell cost, which is always two colorless. Mm -hmm. And then later in the game, you can cast it for its foretell cost instead. So you're kind of like, oh. it's putting like a down payment on the card. Yeah. Okay. Might as well thing in the ice here, I guess. Then we can keep up commit because they're for sure going to go Avacyn. All right, you ninja, sell me on this Pokemon Snap. It's such a banger. Uh, you know what? If you want to kill that, that's fine. <laughs> oh, it's a puzzle game. I really like puzzle oh, games. Oh, that sounds really good. How to make all the various Pokemon come out. Oh, that does sound fun. Oh, we're going to get that. See, I thought you just like ran around and then once the Pokemon got you in the grass, you were like, got your picture. Got your bitch. <laughs> like a, like a paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Pokemon gotcha. paparazzi, babe. And I was like, mm, that doesn't sound fun. I just find them all. But I guess if there's like little puzzles. Babe, do you even try to catch them all? Not really. Okay, that's fair, I guess. I know that's supposed to be the whole point. But if I can just stay on track with the, uh, with the plot line, I'm doing really good. I've never... Oh, wow. We just win that game. Okay. Oh. Sounds good. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to subscribe on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever you're watching it. I don't care. Go to somewhere else. Twitch.tv well. slash Frank Lepore. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. YouTube.com slash probably Frank Lepore. You don't even know. That's... I've never been to your YouTube channel. <laughs> um, okay. You can support me undies. It doesn't support Frank, but I think it's a great company. And they used to support Franklin and they stopped doing sponsorships. But they got really soft undies. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. He doesn't time. like me. Okay. <laughs> oh boy.